I got excited. Okay, so if you haven't already, right, how you get to Canvas is you go to DCC's website, you click on the Canvas button, you log in using your Lola credentialing. I always suggest you write that down somewhere, right, especially if you have a class that does online testing and stuff like that, which I'm not going to do. This brings you into your dashboard. It has announcements for students and faculty, right? You should actually read those. It'll have recent activity, or you can change it to these button things. I don't use any of that. But the to-do list is helpful. It helps me. I like it. Um, you can customize your course list as well by clicking all courses to see all your courses if they're not showing up, and then clicking the little star. So you'll see I have a ton of courses and past courses in here, so I just have my current ones that I'm dealing with show up on my quick list. So the first time you click that. So here's our class. So in our class, which is pretty naked right now, um, you'll see this first button under the home page. And that's the McGraw-Hill Connect. When you guys click on this, right, it's going to give you a button, as you saw for Trevor's, right, that you'll need to click and it'll open in another um, tab. For me, it goes to, of course, to the, my instructor abilities and my instructor view um, of the course. So I'll go ahead and put it in student view for you guys right now. So once you, and what you guys can do right now for the first 14 days is you don't have to pay that $85. That button below the buy now was the courtesy access for 14 days from the minute you, the, you register. And then as you guys saw with Trevor, if you've had a Connecta account before for like microbiology or biology classes, you probably already have an account. So if you put in your email, if you go to register, it's going to say you already have an account. You can hit the button, forgot your password, and reset your password. I usually suggest students do the same password they do for Lola and Canvas. It makes it easier. One password to remember. I do the same thing with my email, right? All my stuff for work is the same password. <coughs> same complicated, long-ass password. <laughs> Ridiculous, right? Numbers, letters, symbols, capital, oh my god. It's insane. Okay, so once you do that, either courtesy access or you straight up pay for it, right? You'll get to the home page within um, Canvas. And so you'll see, I don't have any assignments or anything set up for you, but you see the link there to the ebook. And so whether you do courtesy access or pay for it, you're going to have it, the ebook, right? So you can start doing homework today. Um, so there's that link. Then over here, once you guys pay for it, once you pay the $85, there will be a button over here that says, do you want a copy of the book? Click on that. It can range anywhere from $25 to, I've heard, $35, and they will ship it to your house within usually about two weeks. So again, most of you guys are probably going to want to go home, get the credit card out, Go ahead and pay the $85 and then pay to get the actual copy sent to your house. That's under the courses. Yeah, and it's a loose leaf copy. Right, and this is the problem, and this is, and I'm glad you brought that up, because some students have to use their financial aid or get book vouchers. So how many of you guys plan on using a book voucher? Okay, so you know what you got to do you got to get the expensive one at the bookstore. And then you would have to pay $85 for the Connect. But you're not going to do that. You're going to email me, and I'm going to get you a copy. After you show me you purchased the book at the bookstore. Okay? We're not going to double jeopardy. They packaged it wrong right at the bookstore. Right? So those of you guys with financial aid, right, and have to buy it at the bookstore, Send me an email, tell me that, send me a copy of your receipt, and I will get you a book voucher. I mean, a code. Okay? Cool beans? Right. Hence why earlier I was like, oh yeah, they screwed that up. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, but we, we can fix that. We can fix that. We can get you a code. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's just ridiculous. That price. And not get a code. So any questions on that? Pretty easy to follow, right? Get into Canvas, hit the link, 
either register or log in or do you forget your password? Sign up for courtesy access if you're going to be happy with the ebook, right? Give yourself some grace period before you pay the $85. Once that time is up, it's going to tell you it's not going to let you in. <laughs> it will save any of your work though, right? So those assignments and homework and stuff that you'll do under courtesy access, it will save it. Okay? Unless you're stupid, which nobody is, and you sign up for another Connect account. But I'm going to stop you from doing that because I linked Connect in Canvas. So you should not do that unless you're really creative and go to Connect outside of Canvas, which I'm not even giving you that link, so you shouldn't screw that up. Right? should be good. What do you do if you run into problems with Connect? You call Connect Tech Support. And I will have those links for you in Canvas. I will have it in my syllabus addendum that I will give you guys next week, which will also be posted on Canvas. What do you do if you're having trouble with Canvas? I know. Tech support? I am not. Sometimes I might be able to help you. Most of the time. And I won't answer the phone between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. Right? So if you're one of those late or early workers, I'm not your choice. Right? Who is your choice? Canvas help. If you can get into Canvas and you're in Canvas and you need help, there is a help button. And unfortunately, my recording button usually blocks it. Let me see if I can do it without stopping my recording. Woohoo! I did it. So then this pops up, right? And I highly, highly suggest the Canvas guides. They have pictures, and some of them even have videos, which is awesome. Um, so there's some things that I have to do in Canvas I do once a semester. So sometimes I'm like, oh, how do you do that again, right? I don't keep notebooks for that anymore. It's all online. I just click the button, I hit in the search field, whatever it is I'm trying to figure out how to do, right? And somebody's posted something to help you. Um, if you need to talk to somebody, this is a 24 hour, seven days a week, 365 days a year number. How awesome is that? You can call them on Thanksgiving. They will answer. You can do a live chat if you like that kind of thing, right? Um, you can ask the community expert, right? So this is like a discussion board thing. I've never tried it. I don't know. Um, you and I think some of these you guys don't have actually I should be in my student view shame on me so let me go to our class so under courses right I thought I was in our class but I must have <coughs> jumped out so I can see the course as you see it so let me do that come on come on you can do it oh I blew up my screen remember Ha, huh. it's off the screen over here. Student view. Okay. It's not as pretty as some of my other classes, but you know, it is. You notice I already have an assignment for you guys, actually. That should have showed up on this page. Where is it? Why is it not showing up? Student view. Oh, what did I do wrong? I did something wrong. Not assigned. Mm -hmm. You're batting a thousand, Erica. All right. So, why I'm here, let me assign it. Yada, yada, yada. I don't think I need to change any of that. Okay, there we go. So, I'll probably extend this deadline, but this, this is a zero-point assignment. What this is, is a couple of questions from Chapter 1. And they have um, animations and stuff with them. So this is so that you can check your software on whatever computer you're on and get all that stuff straight. Again, who do you call for this? Tech support. Tech support for who? Connect. Connect. You guys are smart. I like it, like. Okay. Which, for them, right, right down at the bottom of the page, contact us. But I'll put this in our documentation, too. There's their phone number and contact hours. So, let's go back to the home. It should show up on your list now. Look at that. Software check. 
You can do as many times as you want. And this is a due date I will change. But I do want you guys to do it at least once before next week. Make sure everything's working, right? And you're going to have another homework assignment in here too, so you're going to do this before the deadline. But what I'll do is, I, well, the reason why I said I'll extend that is that sometimes you'll like go to a computer lab, right, and you're trying to do your homework and you're like, it's not working, right? And then you're wanting to call me or email me and what am I going to say? I'm actually going to say, do the software check assignment because it's probably a software issue. And, and, and that'll answer your problem, right? So no matter where you are, you could quickly do this assignment and find out if it's a software issue, right? So is Flash not installed? Is it not installed properly, right? These kinds of things. That's what software is. I'm not a big fan of software because it creates issues. But it also makes us be able to do things we didn't used to be able to do. So why was I in my student view? What did I want to show you guys? Oh, help. What it looks like for you guys. So there's less options. And of course, everything is covering it. But, you know, a couple of those options that were popping up for me, you guys don't get to do. Like, you don't get to submit problems and you don't get to make suggestions, I don't think, you know. So I'm sure you're, you're so disappointed about that, right? Heartbroken. Just can't stand it. Okay. So, um,. There really is nothing in here right now, except for that link, because that's the only thing I want you guys to do right now. Um, I will load the syllabus um, in the next couple of days. I'm still tweaking it. I'm looking back at my notes from 2009 and realized I was really ambitious back then, and we didn't get through the whole syllabus, so why am I going to give you guys that same syllabus if we didn't even finish it then? Or I'm not going to finish it again. So I'm going to change it. Um, so, but I will have that to you guys definitely by Tuesday next week, if not sooner. Uh, the important thing is the book, right? And like she said, you know, if you want, you could go try and find it on Amazon. I don't really think you're going to get it cheaper than you're going to find it through Connect. Uh, and you've got to pay the $85 for Connect, y'all. Unless you're, you know, buying it at the bookstore and I'll get you a code. Right? And that's way more than $85. Any other questions? Okay. So I'll be building and making it more pretty, our, our Canvas site, but this is your really important button right now. It's the only thing that's in Canvas uh, for you guys right now. Um, right now, the only thing that's in assignments is the software check, but before Thursday, there will be a Chapter 1 assignment. Your homework, right, uh, is to read Chapter 1 and to do the assignment. I'll even post the, the standard PowerPoint that goes along with it that I'll be lecturing on on Tuesday. Uh, but I want you guys to read the chapter ahead of time. I want you guys to answer those questions ahead of time before we meet back on Tuesday. And I will have that posted by Thursday. If not, probably tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so she just asked the question, is uh, my homework, you can do it as many times as you want, yes. So I always do unlimited attempts on my homeworks, um, uh, so you guys can get maximum points on that. Um, the, these connect assignments will be 25% of your overall grade, right? So you, you really have got to do them. Your final exam will be 25%, um, and your exams will be 50% of your grade. Um, I'm estimating from the last time I did this, we'll have three exams, right? We'll have three exams. Um, what else? Oh, my contact information. That I need to load for you guys for sure. Especially for those of you guys that have not had me before and there's been some changes you may have noticed. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, for the final that's preset by the college. So yeah, let's 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 go over that as well. Thank you for that. Um so look, it's already in here. Let me check my roll call because it's not supposed to give you guys points. I'm glad I saw that. Yep, I gotta change that. Edit. You don't get points for attendance. 
And then, as I said, I always record my lectures. So if you miss class, what am I going to tell you? I'm going to tell you, go to Canvas, get the link. Or if you already subscribed to my YouTube channel, go on YouTube, right? And the lecture will be posted there. So let's... I'm going to steal from my other class. I love computers because you can paste and cut. So edit. I'll have to redo that other thing for you guys. So I'll move this, I'll move this, these things around and turn off the ones we don't use. So this is currently the wrong link, so we'll need to unlink the whole thing. Okay, so my name is, of course, Erica Burns. Um, my office is in Building 1 uh, in the big cubicle area on the west side of the building, 113. My cube number is 38. Mine's very easy to find. It's the only one with a blue roof. I have really bad allergies. There's a HEPA filter running in there. I had to create a clean space. When they did the auditorium construction, they almost killed me. Literally. Um, my email, for those of you guys that have had me in the past, has finally changed to my last name. Yay, it's only taken seven years. Okay, so it's E Burns 1, because there's apparently an Aaron Burns and she beat me to it, but that's okay because I'm number one. So I get the number one. So if you email the old one, it should kick back and tell you that it's changed. I don't know if it's working. I haven't checked recently. Uh, I checked and there is only that. It did tell you. Okay, good. Yeah, because you sent me two. Because I at that point I still had access to the old one. Pretty soon they're gonna turn it off on me. And I can't juggle two on my computer, only on my phone. Woo! Nightmare. Okay. So they're going to be turning it off soon. I'm not going to juggle anymore, and you guys are going to have to conform. The good news is if you email me through Canvas, which I'll send you guys a welcome email uh, through Canvas, um, it will tell me who you are and what class. So you can just recycle that email. All you have to do is change the subject line. So you can save that email from me in your email. And whenever you need to email me on whatever device you're using, it will give me everything I need, which is who you are and what class you're in. Those are vital. You can text me at my Google number. It rings this cell phone and my office phone. And my computer if I have the app open. <laughs> it freaks me out sometimes. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> it makes this weird noise. And then I'm like, oh, I had the app open because I used it to use my office phone to call a long distance number because everybody has long distance numbers. But yet I don't have long distance in my office. That's why I have a Google number. Uh, so you can also text me, but I'm not going to add you to my address book. My address book would get enormous, right? It's already insane. Although I, you know, had to get a new phone and guess what? I wasn't backing anything up. So I restarted last summer <laughs> with my contacts list, so it's not as big as it used to be. Every time you start a new text with me, right, a new thread, like not, you know, so like today you text me, right? You tell me who you are and you write genetics. If you don't do that, if you don't start with that and you just write in on your problem, this is the text you will get back. Who, what, <laughs> which means who are you and what class or what, what class is what I'm saying what for, right? Because your question, your problem is going to be specific to your class, right? If we keep texting back and forth, then that's going to be there. I'm going to know who I'm communicating with. But now it's a week later, right? I don't save all that. You have to start over. Make sense? If you're a super texter, I might actually add you to my contacts. When I answer the phone, when you call, and I know your name, you're a super texter. Because <laughs> you're in my contacts. But I will delete you after the semester's over. Okay. Because it'll say under company, DCC students. <laughs> and I clear those out at the end of the semester. Okay, so it's okay if you're a super texter, right? 
this semester, because I have you guys in this course that I haven't done since 2009, so I have to redo all my presentation stuff for you guys, although I get news for you, it hasn't changed much. I was looking at it last night, I was like, I don't have that much work to do. <laughs> and I know this stuff, right? So it's easy. Uh, but you know, if you've had me for micro, you know me, I like to be prepared, right? I like to have everything organized ahead of time and know when we're going to do things and just fly by the seat of my pants I don't like so much. But I can do it. Okay. Uh, we won't be flying like this too much longer. Okay. Not how I operate. Um, they changed the book. Yay, it's a readable book for the general microbiology. Um, so I'm redoing my pictures and my PowerPoints and stuff like that. So outside of my office hours, which I'm going to post for you guys right now, um, I am going to turn off my phone and my email. So in the past, sometimes when you would text or email me, I would respond right away. Sometimes that's not going to happen for like two, three hours because I'm going to be working on materials. And I can't deal with the distraction. I need to maximize my time, just like all the rest of us, right? So sometimes, too, if it can wait, I'm going to wait until my office hours to get back to you. Not to say I won't call you in the evenings, which most of you guys have already talked to me, right? Which is my next thing I'm going to talk to you about. Um, and I'll call you back on the weekend. It may be from the soccer field, but, if, you know, if you desperately need me, I, I, I will be available to you, even outside of office hours. So I need to... add a module. So here will be our syllabus and other stuff like my office hours. So I already have that. I will add that. So they're mostly during the day, mostly in the mornings. Um, and I am the lead instructor for microbiology, so I'm in charge of it all on all campuses. I'm going to be traveling to the North Shore next Friday, next Thursday to inspect their lab. So, um, where is it on this computer? It's probably right on the desktop because it's that important. Yep, there it is. Okay, so it has all my contact information, my location repeated on this document. what classes I teach, all that jazz. So it's tiny. There you go. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. So you'll see why I wanted to do Thursday afternoon. One, the lab is available for genetics lab if you want to do it. Um, and I'm available. The problem is, is I didn't get my stuff together in time. So my boss said no last week. But he said, you can do second start if you want. But if we do second start, that means we meet twice a week. So looking at my schedule, right, the, the, the thing that would make sense would be Tuesday and Thursday afternoons. The problem with that is the microbiology lab, which is what we were going to primarily use. We were going to go across the hall a couple of times to biotech, but apparently they have an extra thermal cycler they were going to maybe just give me to keep in micro. So I had no idea where I would put it, so I bought that micro. We're taking over the room next door, but it hasn't been cleaned out yet. It was an office, um, and we're making a, a general, use, general use lab. Uh, for things like genetics and comparative anatomy and some of the other um, one-time lab classes that we teach. Instead of, you know, hopping around to different labs. So uh, Biotech is trying to figure out their schedule right now. So I had hoped because, again, we're going to need to use some of their equipment. Um, when we get to the molecular component, I was hoping I could hold our lab in there. He said their schedule is still too much in flux to give me an answer. I'm going to still try and work on it in hopes that I can find a space. So I'm going to still try and submit it to my boss tomorrow. But I have to have at least five students that want to take the lab in order for me to submit it. And I need you to email me 
that you are interested in taking the lab. Do we have at least five people that are somewhat interested at this point? Or have questions? So if we, I, I, because, you know, we're in here from 11 to noon, I was thinking about doing one to four to give us time to eat and travel over to building one. I could, I can't really bump it up anymore because that's the other problem is the labs traditionally run in the afternoon from two to five. Yeah, and so, so you have a conflict anyways? Okay. Um, I don't really want to do two to five because I have the little one. Can I tell you guys? I took the wrong bus yesterday. Yeah. I didn't get my kid until six o'clock last night, and I was a very panicked, crying mom at his school because he went over to, all the way over to the West Bank on the bus, and another bus driver had to bring him to my house. So um, yeah, we're doing the bus for the first time, <laughs> and uh, we'll see how today goes. <laughs> but my husband is at home because he's disabled, right? And the surgery may help him on Thursday, but we don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, I uh, I really don't want to do aftercare. It's expensive, but I will if I have to. Um, I've done it before, and he loves it because you know they have fun. <laughs> you know they play in the gym, they do arts and crafts, and you know it's only if they go every every day do they have to do homework and aftercare. So um, I'm flexible is what I'm trying to say because I really would love to do this lab. It would be really awesome. Um, we're going to use a lab manual from Baylor. I'm going to try and get it for free for us this semester since we're trying it out. So again, no, no book to buy, no cost for you guys other than paying for the course through Delgado and the fees that go along with it. Second start doesn't start until October 4th or 5th. It's eight weeks. So we'll still end at the same time. Actually, we'll end right before Thanksgiving. We'll have two tests. Um, around midterm and the final. And we'll actually take the final before Thanksgiving. We'll take it the last lab. Um, it'll be practical um, and multiple choice. You know, it'll be a combination of thereof. So it'll be paper based, like you're used to, Scantron type thing, and some um, lab element that you'll need to do. Um, we'll, we're going to sequence our own DNA, send it off to technicians look at our own code for a couple of genes. So like I said, I'm really excited. I think it'll be a really fun lab. Um, we'll play with fruit flies, the non-flying kind. Um, we're gonna do it all. It's a really cool lab. So I have that syllabus pretty much done. So if you're interested, I'll send it to you. But I really need, by the end of the day, tomorrow, if you guys really wanna do it, if I can get five people, then I can submit it to my boss. Um, Thursday while I'm at the hospital. Okay, so you said you'd be like only making it available to one senior after the class. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so like I said, I mean, we're, we don't have a set time right now, but you know, we could do one to four maybe, we can do two to five. On Tuesday and Thursday. So if both days. Because normally if it was a semester long, it would be once a week. But because we're we're doing it in in second start, the second mini session, then it has to be twice a week to get everything done. So we can do it. I can do it. So we are the final the date. Oh, the date for the finals. Oh, she's serious about this. Good. I love you. Thank you. She's keeping me on track. So usually what I have in the syllabus and, and make you guys do, um, and so we'll do it now together is on Delgado's website. Uh, there it is. Anybody know how to get to this information? You should, you're a sophomore. How do you get to the final exam schedule? Or all the important dates for the semester? Events. Maybe events. You are a current student, are you not? So, Usually Google it. You're a current student. All the things you need as a current student are under the current student's tab. Imagine that. Student life, student services, course catalog, student handbook, 
Delgado Alert System I highly suggest signing up for. Department Directory, Online Classroom, which is Canvas. And Student Consumer Information, and then Lola, Check Email, even a whole bunch of really helpful links, although whoever's in charge of this usually doesn't update this. So if I click Final Exam Schedule, holy cow, it's there. But if it's not there, you'll notice that this actually, this link took us to the student handbook. Right? That's where you find all the important student stuff, like final exams. So it's right here and the important date. So for our class, we meet Tuesday, Thursday, right, at 11. So there we are right there. So our exam will be at 1030 on December 1st, and it is on a Thursday. That's preset. It will be in this classroom, and again, you're going to need what? Scantron. 882E. It'll probably be about 100 questions. 10.30. Okay, so what are other important dates and important things as it concerns this class? I'm going to take attendance in Canvas every single day. If you're late, I usually keep a notebook in the desk that you're sitting at. And you sign in when you come in late. And I'll update it in Canvas. I already bought my notebook at the dollar store. Yep, midterm, not so much for this class because you're not going to have a midterm. But I am going to enter a midterm grade, so whatever grade you have at that point, I have to enter it in, right? It'll convert your grade into a letter grade based on what we've covered so far. Important dates. So the other important thing that's back is the FN grade. And so classes have begun. And come the 14th day, if you have not shown up for this class, physically shown up for this class, I must, by my boss's orders, drop you from this class. Even if you contact me, I have to drop you. If you have not physically been in this classroom. Okay? There are obviously some exceptions to that, right? But very few. So make sure you go to all your other classes if you want to actually stay <coughs> because most of your professors are going to drop you. And then if you have some reason you were in the hospital or something like that and you really want back in, you can beg and plead and they may or may not let you back in. They'll probably tell you you have to do second start, which again is eight weeks. Yeah. It's insanity. Get your stuff together now. All right, don't goof off. I don't have to tell you guys that. Well, I'm going to be building them as we go, so not really for this class. In my other classes, the answer would have been yes. Um, but I will keep them open all semester long, so you can do them as many times as you want. Right. I'll probably, like I said, like with this one, I'm going to set due dates to kind of guide you guys. But they're not concrete due dates. You can do it after the date. I can take points off if I want to. I don't fool around with that stuff. It's too much work. You know what you need to do for your education, right? So I'm going to give you enough rope that you can hang yourself if you want to. Please don't. Please be responsible. Do your assignments on time. Keep up with your work because that's how you're going to be successful in this class. So the other important date, other than, say, midterm grading is due October 4th, but we won't really have a midterm exam. Um, our exam will probably fall after midterms. So those of you guys that have midterms in all your other classes will like me. <laughs> Just like, we'll take it with everyone else. We'll do it after. Uh, when is that other important date? The drop date. Here it is. No, that's mini session two. Yeah, second. Right there. November 2nd. If you 
do not want to do this class anymore, right? You stop showing up. I'm going to keep taking role. I cannot and will, I cannot and I will not drop you. If I have not dropped you by the 14th day, you're in this class. You're responsible for this class. If you decide you don't like me anymore, you can't do this, you don't want to, something happened, you can't do this anymore, you need to drop this course before this date, which is November 2nd. Is this a hard line, the end of the world date? No, there are, again, just like most things, very few exceptions to this, right? You get in a car accident and you end up in the hospital and you can't complete this course, you can apply for a medical withdrawal. Right? That's pretty much the only exception that applies is medical or military. Or I think those are the only two I can think of. Jail doesn't count because you did something wrong. Okay, that you should know. Or you were wrongly convicted. Understand? If you bug out on me, Right? You don't contact me, although you know I'll call you if I've got time. Right? I've got a lot of students. Which is why I didn't call you guys again when you didn't email me back. Because I was like, oh, screw it. I'll just talk to them on Tuesday. <laughs> it's easier. But from now on, you need to check your preferred email. Check Lola. Find out what that email is. You need to check announcements in Canvas. Right? You can set it up so those are emailed to you. But again, to your preferred email is where they'll go. So that's what you need to check. I think you can even set up to have stuff text to you. I don't know. I don't mess with that. I keep it basic. I keep it to email, right? But you can go in and change settings in Canvas and things like that, but you cannot change your preferred email with Delgado, right? How do I make my preferred email You go here. I mean, I go here, but I'm like, I'm just doing that. Right. You still had a Lola account, right? Yeah, it's a Lola. Every Delgado student is assigned a Delgado, even visiting students is assigned a Delgado email. And how you find out is that is through the Delgado's website. Click on email, gives you all the information, there's the tech support number as well. Again, I need that shirt. Okay. <laughs> um, if you don't drop this class and you fail this class from not, for not because you didn't show up and you quit taking tests and you didn't do your assignments, you will get what's called an FN. It's back again. This means that you failed because you did not participate or attend class. This means for financial aid, you may be financially responsible for the payment of this class. Yeah. Or any other lending institution or whatever. It will seriously affect your financial aid. So don't goof off. Right? Nobody signed up for this class to get money. You signed up to learn something. If you signed up for money, bug out now. It won't cost you anything. You'll get your money back. Today's Tuesday. Today's the last day to do that. <laughs> um, the money stuff, right, is down at the bottom. So, through August 17th. Oh, tomorrow, you can get 100% back. It's usually only the first two days. Okay. Um, and then the other dates, you know, pretty much after this week, they're going to keep most of your money. But all the important dates, the holidays and whatnot, are on there. So we have my birthday off, October 11th. Thank you, Mom, for giving birth to me on that weekend. I usually give my birthday off. It's pretty awesome. Um, and then we have Thanksgiving. That's pretty much it. Except for Memorial uh, Labor Day, which I almost forgot about, which is September 5th. So October 11th and the 10th, that Monday and the Tuesday, September 5th, and the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of Thanksgiving. That's it. Yep, and the 11th. It's a Monday and a Tuesday. I don't know the November dates. It's whatever Thanksgiving is, you get that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Well, look, y'all, we're on the page. We'll scroll down. There you go. 23rd to the 27th. Wednesday to, they actually do it through Sunday. 
Yep, it's fall holiday. It's actually, it starts on Saturday, but I don't think any of you guys have Saturday classes, but. So 8, 9, 10, and 11. No problem. Fall holiday. Erica's birthday. Good? What am I forgetting? I told you guys about grades. 25 for assignments, percent of your grade. 25 for testing. I mean, for final exam. I'll write it all down for you guys. Well, but it's the standard. Well, they be posted on the to do list, like their assignments. If you mm -hmm. them. Yeah, actually, um, I linked Canvas and um, Connect. So you'll notice now, because um, that first one, because I turned it on, let me go to my student view. It should show up on your guys' to do list. So let's see. Student view. Yep, look, it's right there. And it's their report. But again, it'll save you a lot of headache if you click on it. I don't care. You can do it unlimited times, right? And again, it's zero points. So it doesn't matter if you get the questions wrong or right. <laughs> it's just to check your software. Right? I just picked the questions from chapter one. So what's your homework? What do you need to do? First thing, read chapter one. Figure out what you're doing to read chapter one, right? Um, eventually, I'll have the book on reserve at the library, too, once I get a copy in. For me, I'll put a copy over there as well. Um, and I'll let you guys know when that's the case um, at our new library in Building 7. Which will also be open on Saturdays now. So overall, we have four tests uh, If you count the final, yes. Three regular tests and a final exam. The final exam, we already looked up that date, right, in time. Is it comprehensive or is it It is comprehensive. Upper level biology classes are comprehensive. I don't do any in-class quizzes, no. We're just going to have connect assignments. We're going to have a lot of them. I'll warn you. But you can work on them as many times as you want. So All right, check your email. Please email, even email me directly if you're interested in what I said about the genetics lab. Right, so I know if I need to move forward with um, trying to get us a location in a time. Right, but you guys have a general idea, and please let me know when you email me what would work for you, so we can kind of try and work around that. No way, I'm teaching. And there's no. Um... Ooh, that's a good question. Hold on. Stop packing for a second. Um, where's my schedule? Somebody said morning. No, because of my because of my other class. Like we'd have to do an eight to eleven, and I don't. I mean, I don't have anything Thursday, but I do Tuesday. Yeah. So no, Tuesday Thursday afternoon. If you need to, we can move your micro. Is that possible? Yeah, it is. It is, it is, it is. So just email me that. Okay. So yeah, we're, we're stuck on Tuesday, Thursday afternoon. Sorry, guys. We are a little bit flexible on the time, and I'll try and get us a location. So please email me so I will work on that. Because if I don't get five people who say I'm really, really interested, I really, really won't work on it. I, I was really interested, but I work, I'm a science lab tutor now, and I'm assigned there one to five on Tuesday and Thursdays. But I'm going to talk to the girl that runs it today. Yeah, um, Ms. Strickland. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Strickland. But yeah. Rachel does the schedule, so I'm going to talk to Rachel. Yeah. And then um, my boyfriend's not signed up to take classes here yet, but he was really interested in taking the lab after you called him. He was like really jealous. Could he sign up for a mini session? Is there oh, absolutely, time? absolutely. Still okay. plenty of time. Okay. Yes. Cool. So he could sign up, and then yeah. And and when you email me, tell me that. Okay. That's, that counts in my numbers. Okay. Okay, cool. I will. Okay. Um, I've written an email this morning about um, trying to get into this class because the I can't get into it anymore. I try to reach someone on the phone. And after like dealing Okay, with you, you, you were the one with the transcript. Did you come before class? Yes, I did. Okay, okay. So we, after, um, let me, 